Hello. Today we're back on the test track at the Absurdium, taking the Prototype 2 version of the Jetson Bot out for a test drive. As before, you can see that we're using ROS with a teleoperation node. The teleoperation node is being controlled by this game controller. It's a Nyko game controller. It has a dead man button, so you press down the button and then you use the joystick to manipulate the Jetson bot forward, backward. You also see up here in the upper right hand corner we have Arviz running Robot Visualizer from Ross. You can see that there's the RGB image from the camera that's on the Jetson bot as well as the RGBD image which is color coded for depth. to give you a sense of scale. So you want to stand next to it. So in its new configuration, you can see it looks a lot more polished just by not having the square platforms. We'll probably have to work on the aerodynamics, maybe winglets on the camera platform up here. The aerodynamic A's are very important when you're traveling at speeds up to a mile and a half an hour. Hopefully we can get rid of the antennas and use tinfoil antennas that we can attach to the bottom of the top platform. But all in all, it looks pretty good, I think. By using the image feeds out of the camera that's on the Jetson bot, you get a feel for how teleoperation robots work. Very similar idea. The controller, the game controller, is connected to the Jetson bot over Bluetooth. and the images are being streamed over a local Wi-Fi network.
bump it into something here. Right into this coffee table. So you see that when it hits something, there's a bump sensor in the bottom of the create base. So now when I actually go forward, nothing happens, but the controller is still active. And the coffee table is probably not too thrilled about this, but hey, it's science. Robot science.